Hi, this is John with Bank Account Bonus Central, and today's video is all about how to get your credit score above 800 in 2021. So these are my credit scores actually from this morning. Experian has me at 803, uh, TransUnion's at 819, and Equifax is at 806. So I want to go step by step in showing you how you can have your scores also above 800. All right, so to begin, I have a couple of uh, quotes here. Uh, Just like the rich rule over the poor, the borrower is slave to lender. That's Proverbs 22.7. And a uh, quote from me is, I'm here to collect cash back and travel awards and not pay interest. My credit score is simply a reflection of that. Um, so here's my current subscriber count, 389. I want to appreciate every single one of y'all who have subscribed. Uh, I want to give a shout out to uh, Victor Lindquist. Uh, awesome YouTuber. Uh, he just made a really cool video about how to travel first class for free. Um, he, uh, watching his video, um, he's somebody I absolutely love to, to collab with later on, but um, he hit it out of the ballpark with a quote about exactly what I'm going to be talking about today. He says, this way of points hacking only works if you always pay off your invoices in full at the end of the, every month. You cannot push anything to next month because you'd have to pay interest rate and that's a lot. What we can do if we are smart thinking individuals is use our brain and pay off the invoice each month and get all the benefits basically for free. And by benefits, he means your cash back, your travel points, uh, being able to travel for free. So Victor, uh, what's interesting, good dude. Check out his content. He's at 389 as well. Speaking of subscribers, watch time from subscribers, uh, the vast majority of people watching these videos, and I definitely do appreciate each and every single person watching these videos, but I do make profitable content on a very frequent basis. Um, please, uh, while we're talking about it, uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you will know each time you will see par uh, profitable content coming from me. All right, with that, let's continue on. All right, so first question is, what makes up a credit score? And this is based upon, uh, from Chase, this is the TransUnion. So your credit history or your payment history is 40%. Credit history is 21. Credit usage is 20. Total balance is 11. Credit check is 5. And available credit is 3%. All right, so your payment history. Okay, so um, the reason I went with this one is because... Um, I just logged into Chase, almost all of the credit issuers, the big ones, Chase, Discover, Amex, Capital One, Bank of America, they all have uh, free credit monitoring and uh, credit scores and all that. So if you're a Chase customer, uh, log into your account, um, you'll look on the right side for this credit during a sign up now. And then uh, let's see, for late payments, this was 40% of the um, score. I got zero, which is in the great category. So how can you, how do you expect to be approved for premium cards with premium rewards if you don't pay your bills on time? So your payment history considers your repayment behavior over time, consistently making on-time payments reassures lenders uh, and is perceived as less of a risk. So basically I pay my bills. As I say, if, if I charge something Monday, I typically almost always pay for it by Friday. So payment history. Um, zero late payments, that's great. So a question I have is how often do you treat your cards like it's a debit card with rewards, as I call them, instead of a credit card with a spending limit? Don't worry about the spending limit. Worry about paying it off, improving your score so you can continue to get approved for more and more uh, amazing cards with amazing rewards. Credit history. So this is 21% of your score. Uh, my oldest account is five, 15 years, five months. That's when I got my house. So this stays, uh, buying a house stays on your uh, credit bureau for a long time. So that's pretty cool. So this is only in the good category. Um, they're looking for people with um, older history. So which is, what's interesting here is poor is zero to four years, fair is five to seven, good is eight to 24. So I got a nine more years or so until I'm able to hit the great category here. All right, credit usage is 20% and my current credit usage is zero. If I pay, if I spend something Monday, it's 
paid for by Friday. That's my mantra. So I owe actually, I'm using 315 out of $134,952. So if you divide that out, I'm a high school math teacher, a little bit of a math nerd. This is, it's got a pulse, but it's barely got a pulse. Uh, so if you are between zero to 9% usage is best, that's considered the great category. Good is 10 to 30. Fair is 31 to 60. And poor is anything more than 61%. So you want to be using as little of your uh, balances as possible or your limits. Keep it under 30. Keeps Helps keep your score good, right? And then total balance is, th is $315. Um, that's how much I have. Let's see. Some of my cards, they close the statement dates at different times than others. Um, let's see. This uh, affects a monetarily. So how do balances affect your score? Total balances include your recently reported balances, current and delinquent across accounts. May not reflect recent changes. Reducing outstanding uh, debt is one way to boost your credit health. So if you're curious... Who does John owe money to? Bank of America, 164. I was waiting for my next statement to close so I can, I made a bunch of online payments. So I got my um, cash back for my online spending. I paid that one off. Discover, I owe $116. I paid that one off. And Amex, I owe 35. That one's paid for as well. I'm just waiting for it to update. That's off of 15 accounts. 15 current. I have also 15 other ones that I closed. So I don't keep credit cards, some of them forever. I'll make videos about that. Um, I actually got another one in queue about that. So this is where I went bad. So credit check, that's 5%. So if you do 0 0.05, which is 5% here, times 850, which is a perfect score, that's up to a max of 42.5 points. I have eight recent checks. And this is why my score is not as, it's, is as low as it actually is. I apply for too many <laughs> new cards. So that's okay. So basically, I sell these inquiries for $500 each. And my threshold for a new credit card or whatever or a um, inquiry to my credit report is $500. So if a credit card is willing to pay me at least $500, if I get at least $500 in benefit out of a card, I'm going to jump on it. Do I care my thing says poor? No, because I just care about the $500 each. So at the poor, I've had over six. They say great is zero. They don't want you to applying for anything. And uh, good is one to two, fair is three to five, poor is six plus. I, I'm thinking I may have said TransUnion. I think this is Equifax or Experian, whichever one Chase has. I may have goofed on that. I don't feel like we're recording this. Uh, they also have a score simulator, which shows how much applying for credit can lower your score. Quick tip, apply for credit only when you need it. Um, I don't agree with that. I would include when you properly get compensated for it. So that's $500 or more. If somebody's going to pay me $500 or more, I'm going to get a new account. So my available credit is 3%. So... Um, that's how much balance I, uh, how much limit I have minus the 315 and there's no, uh, good, bad or ugly. It's just uh, low impact. All right. And then Chase also has some amazing offers for your credit, credit insider, or there's, there's a bunch of videos and articles and they're basically going to say the same thing. Pay as, as Victor would say, pay off your invoice at the end of each month. I don't have the Swedish accent for that. But. Okay. So. Identity restoration, that's another cool thing that Chase offers. It's another reason I love Chase. Something happens, um, they will help you. Okay, it's Experian. Okay, so I may have said TransUnion earlier. Um, they, Chase has the Experian. Experian, that's incidentally who Chase pulls most frequently when you apply for a credit card, it's Experian. Okay, credit score simulator. This is actually really cool. I was playing with this earlier. Uh, so here's my current score. This is my lowest one, whatever. Um, so what happens if I add a credit card? So if I get a new credit card of the $5,000 limit, I'm hoping to get approved for this, uh, U S bank cash plus card. That one, I called them yesterday, that went into manual review. 
So if I get a new credit card, what happens to your credit? What happens to your credit? It'll go down by one point. If I get declined for a loan, it'll go down four points. If I consolidate my credit card debt, all uh, if I can actually says if I consolidate three uh, ten thousand into a new card, I'll go down twenty seven points to seven seventy six. If I had a mortgage of two hundred fifty thousand, I'll go down forty two points. If I get an installment loan of twenty thousand, I'll go down sixty five points. So that's pretty interesting. Balances. If I pay all my credit card balances down to zero, nothing will happen because that's where I'm at. If I max out all my credit cards, it'll go down 27 points to 776. Not that I'm going to do that. So that that's a pretty neat tool there. Payment history. If I make uh, on-time payments for six months, it'll go to 803. If I miss a credit card payment, it will go down 33 points down to 770. If I declare bankruptcy, it'll go down to 770. So that's interesting. I thought it would go down more than that. All right. So if you're still watching this, I appreciate it. Um, you watching? So comment any specific questions you have about uh, credit scores. And then um, any specific questions you have about this channel, about anything credit, uh, banking account, or personal finance. I'm making a question and answer video right now. I need more questions. What do you want me to answer? Comment those down below. And uh, if you enjoy frequent um Profitable content like this, please smash that like button, share, and hit that subscribe button with the bell notification. And I will see you in the next one with a whole bunch more cool stuff. Peace.